Finally, my exams are over. Yes. <laughs> What's up, people? It's Brandon here. Stop. And pose. Whoa! And here's a random fact that I got for you. I'm a Malaysian. And being a Malaysian, I live in a country with different people from different ethnicities, from religions, races, or to put into other words, I'm not racist. And with this diversity comes a lot, and I mean a lot of festivities and right now it's the fasting month of Ramadan so Ramadan is basically the ninth month of the Islamic calendar if I'm not mistaken please correct me if I'm wrong because I just use Google to search this oh I do know is during the fasting month of Ramadan that Muslims around the world will be fasting from dawn to sunset and during this time we non-Muslim people we have to experience a lot of things and I mean a lot number one the sneaky bite Now this right here is exactly the reason why we have to go all Mission Impossible up in this place. Like we'll be looking left, and then we'll be looking right, and then we'll be looking left again, just to be sure that the coast is clear for us to sneak a bite in. You know what I'm talking about, it's that undercover mission that you go on, where the end goal is for you to try and eat something or drink something without your Muslim friends catching you in the act. And we still can visualize what I'm talking about, Yes, a situation for you. Imagine you're in a class and all the Muslim friends around you are just talking and maybe low-key whining about fast. And you and your rumbling tummy be like... So being the example student in the class that you are, you obviously pack the Snickers while in your bag because you just want big hungry whole biscuit that ain't getting enough biscuits in your damn diet. But then if you're just a whole biscuit and you're not getting any biscuits, wouldn't that just make you a hoe? Oh my god! What the hell I forgot? And you're Back to what I was saying. So you got your snacks packed in your bag and you're feeling hungry right now, but everyone around you is just fasting. So what do you do? You do that thing where your head goes under the table. Don't get any ideas, you little nasty! Then you sneakily and quietly open the Snickers bar and eat the Snickers bars while your head is in the bag. If you guys visualize that, well, here's a representation of what it looks like. You'll be looking a hell of stupid. But that's okay because you're not trying to be that douchebag that's all like, Look at me. I got a sneaker spot that you can't have. <laughs> no. J just no. Number two. The awkward question. Now as Malaysians, or basically any human being with any common courtesy, we are always taught to be respectful and polite with everyone around us. And seeing that Ramadan is a very holy and spiritual time of the month for the Muslims, we non-Muslims have to respect that our Muslims are fasting at the moment. So whenever our grumbling karmis is telling us that it's time for lunch, or breakfast, or dinner, or basically any time of the day that you're feeling hungry, it is important that we have to make sure that it is okay for us to eat within the same proximity of our Muslim friends. And then comes the awkward question. And it doesn't matter how you phrase the question, because no matter how you say it and how you phrase it, it's going to be awkward. Hey man, I am really so sorry about this, but is it okay if I eat here? Yeah, sure man, go ahead. Are you sure you don't mind eating here? If you want me to find somewhere else to eat, I don't mind, I can do that. No, I don't mind, it's okay. Are you sure? Because I'm really trying not to be disrespectful and all, but just eat your damn food, boy. Number three, the embarrassment. When you accidentally invite your Muslim friends to go and eat together. Or when you accidentally offer food to your Muslim friends when they're fasting. Oh my god, why are you so bloody stupid? Legit, this happened to me just a few days ago and I'm regretting my decision to even socialize on that day. But to be fair and make myself look like the innocent one here, this happens to every non-Muslim in Malaysia during the fasting season. Like every time. It happens to you, it happens to me, it happens to everybody. So then why do we still get embarrassed by asking the question? I mean, we don't intend to be offensive and sensitive. I mean, we just tend to forget that they are fasting. I'm pretty sure they understand that, right? Yeah, sure, they were you little insensitive prick. Number four, the Hunger Games. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, that's Game of Thrones. Oops. 
Now I don't know about you, but I feel like every Muslim person is just a freaking magician. It's just like Abakadabra, Alakazam, and Gazob. I've disappeared. Now I say this for two reasons. Number one, I just really wanted to use this as a prop for a very, 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 very long time. Abakadabra, Alakazam, Boyakasha, and Gazob. I'm a magician. Ha! And number two, I don't understand like how the heck that they can fast for a month. One whole month. Like I understand the culture and tradition behind the fasting, but to only eat two meals every day for a whole month? Oh my god! Like they could be part of the Hunger Games. Literally. Because they're not eating. Like what the bloody hell is this? But seriously, I do have to respect them for that because if I were to skip a meal, like I would literally be part of the walking dead. And not the hunters, I mean the freaking zombies. I'd be dead. No matter the differences, there is always that one thing that always brings us together. That will keep us united, keep us grounded, bring peace, and find its way into our bodies, our hearts, and also our tummies. Huh? What? Number five, the Ramadan Bazaar. Huh? <laughs> ah, the Ramadan Bazaar. Why am I saying bazaar in a weird way? I don't know, but it's very bizarre. <laughs> Look at that pun. Amazing, my pun game is strong, boy. Ah! Anybody. The bazaar is a place where you can get delicious, scrumptious, and sometimes average tasting food and drinks everywhere. Oh my god! And it doesn't even matter whether you've been fasting or not because the food is for everyone and the food is just good and so many varieties. I mean, I would just start fasting just to experience the full experience of getting that food at the Ramadan Bazaar and just eating all of the delicious food. Oh my god, that would be so amazing. That sensory explosion. But then again, eat fasting will just probably last about a day or two. Hey, what can I say? I just love my food. I love my food. It's so, so good. I love my food. It's so, so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all that I have for this video for today. So stay random, peace out, and bye. I think I moved the camera. Okay. Calm down with the vibes now. Bye.